Hello Vinyl Community and anyone else watching this. I'm back with another recent finds video. Um, once again, it's getting dusk. I have to go to work in a little while. The light's really funky in here at this time of day. I did add another light, white light, so I'm, I don't know. But <laughs> we'll get by somehow. Anyway, um, I hope everybody out there is doing well. And I know it's been a little while. I still haven't got my internet problem solved. It's on my schedule for this week if I can ever uh, <laughs> get around to it. I'm behind on everything. I apologize. Watching videos, commenting, forget it. I don't have any internet. It's weird. Today I had enough internet to watch a few videos, but I couldn't even get to. I couldn't co comment. I couldn't get to my comments. Can't get to Facebook or Google Plus or eBay or anything like that. Put a CD in and it doesn't even know what's on the CD. Yet I can watch YouTube videos. Very strange. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Before we get started, this is what we're listening to. People ask a lot. This is a Doodle Town Pipers. <laughs> I found this at, um, a while back at uh, a, um, I can't think what you call it now. Habitat for Humanities Restore. Um, I'm standing in a weird place tonight. I've got records all around me. Um, anyway, I want to start off with a few 45s and tell you about my, a trip to my local record store and uh, all like that. Anyway, let's start off with um, Jackie and the Cedrics. These guys are a Japanese instrumental band, actually, and um, they're they're really really cool. And um, the guy Rockin' Inaki who is this guy right here who does solo shows as well and has at least one solo album and he's fantastic and um, just Japanese surf basically um, recorded in mono on Hillsdale records um, I got turned on to these guys by uh, Randy um, Dead Wax 66, um, a long, long time ago in my Inspire Me video, and um, I love them, and I've since watched on YouTube a bunch of Rock and Inaki videos, um, cool stuff. I also got, uh, Jackie and the Cedrics covering the Rolling Stones' Mother's Little Helper on Norton, a series that they do, um, with artists covering Rolling Stones. High and Dry by Bud, Budshot Bill is on the other side of this one. Got this from the UK. Peace of my heart, Irma Franklin, the original version of that. And it's just such a great version. I wanted it on 45. So before Janice got a hold of it, it was from a jeans commercial in like the late 80s or early 90s. And um, it's on Epic UK imports. Um, gosh, it's been so long. I've been away from YouTube for so long that I can't remember. Ron from the Hogs Ear Report showed this on 10 Weird 45s that he showed. And um, it had a song called Big Star on it. So I had to track one down. It's um, Sluts for Hire. Great song called Neil, Neil Young on here. And um, we're in a band's pretty good too. So interesting 45s. Um, so thanks Ron for that, and thanks Randy by the way, there's the label, and uh, a cool 45, and last but not least, at the, um, I forgot to show this, my last video when I went to Buffalo to the flea markets, Bengals, Hero Takes a Fall, UK import copy, and um, Mine is pressed slightly off center, and the B-side is Where Were You When I Needed You? And it's just one of the best thing the, things the Bengals ever did covering the grassroots. So I wanted a good copy, and I saw this and uh, had to grab it. So it uh, looks just like the American sleeve, pretty much. Um, but very happy to have that in my collection as well. Okay, let me move those somewhere where they're not going to get killed. Wow. All right, I took um, a small little road trip um, to my favorite record store. Um, 
once again in Ithaca, um, Angry Moms. And I didn't find a lot, but I found some stuff. Um, the Age of Electronics by Dick Hyman. Um, you don't see this one as much as you see the other one. Um, he actually did three of them, and one he did a lot of classical and stuff, and they had that too. But I wasn't that interested in this. On Command Records, love the cover. It's cool. Did not have this. Dr. Birds and Mr. Hyde. Um, Birds Go Country. This is the beginnings of that, or well, the beginnings of that was probably the first album, but they're starting to get into it by at this point in time. And uh, yeah. I thought this looked interesting. Atlantic Honkers. This is like a very similar record to the um, Atlantic Rhythm and Blues 47 to 74. Um, it's like a counterpart to that, but it's all instrumentals. It is on Atlantic Records. There's your, um, if you can read that, your track listings. And it's got Arnett Cobb, Frank Coley, King Curtis, Tiny Grimes, Willis Jackson, Joe Morris, and Jess Stone on here. Not much but info on the line of notes. It is on Atlantic and I just thought it was a pretty cool thing. It wasn't expensive. It's a typical Atlantic label, of course, everybody knows that. So, what's the instrumentals? Atlantic Honkers. I should be putting these upside down, but I guess it doesn't matter. Laverne Baker, her greatest recordings. I love Laverne Baker. Um, of course she's in a bunch of those rock and roll movies from the 50s and I uh, did the original version of Jim Dandy, Tweedledee, which other people had a hit with, Soul on Fire is great, she did CC Ryder, Shake a Hand, her version of Shake a Hand is amazing and um, very cool on uh, Adco Records actually and it, I'm not going to show the record it's um I never remember what you call those things, a Unipack where it's just the cover goes and the record goes in the finding side and pain in the butt. So, Laverne Baker. Tough Darts. I got them on an, um, various artist British, um, album I showed not that long ago. I forget what it was called. And I played their track and I really liked it. And I'd seen this at Angry Moms and was hoping it was still there. So I did not know the Tough Darts. Um, British power pop kind of band, and um, was still there, so pretty happy to pick that up. This I picked up just because I never see it, and it was really, really cheap. Um, John Waite, Ignition, I think this was his first solo album after leaving the babies. It's produced by Neil Giraldo, and if you remember early MTV, that song Change, that's on here. This is the album that that is from. Um, so still ba very baby sounding on um, this LP. And last, oh, there's two more. Never mind. Um, this one he threw in. Um, it's not in very good shape at all, but Session with the Dave Clark Five, an original British copy in mono. It's got the foldbacks. Again, the record isn't in very good shape at all. The cover's not bad. And, I mean, I've never seen this, and I was just really psyched. This was the first thing I saw that I actually had to have. And, um, again, the vinyl's not in great shape. It is on Columbia Records. I don't know if that'll show up, but, uh, really, really cool. And if it's anything like an American Dave Clark 5 album, it'll sound pretty good even if it's beat up. Um... So very, very happy. Love the full backs on the back. Just cool record. And did not know this existed. I was, there was a line, so I went back and looked for, I looked through the Christmas stuff. And I found the Christmas gift for you by The Connection, that band that I've fallen in love with. It's on red vinyl. I won't bother to show it. It's just plain red vinyl. And uh, there's your track listings. And it came out on Record Store Day. I don't know what Record Store Day. I did not know about this. And um, was really, really happy to find a Connection Christmas album. And
And last but not least, Jack White has put out The Monk's Hamburg Recordings, 1967. It's an EP with five songs on it. If you don't know who the Monks are, they were expatriate GIs formed in Germany. Very loud, very odd pre-punk music. And uh, these are the last recordings they ever did. They came back to America and split up after that. There's a track listing. And um, they literally looked like monks. They wore this stuff. They shaved the top of their heads after giving themselves bowl haircuts. And um, this is really cool. And it's on Third Man. So, we have you garage people need to check that out. There's your hype sticker. And I have not gotten to this yet. The monks. Okay, that's it for that. And then on my way home, I stopped at Borders in Ithaca because they have about ten times the records that our Borders have. And I picked up two things. This was pretty inexpensive. Rhino's been doing the Summer of the, well, Summer of Love series, and this is just called Ruby Sounds from the Summer of Love. It is supposed to be on red vinyl again. I have not opened it yet. And uh, it just has a selection of songs, mostly from the Summer of Love, 1967. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, Groovin', The Young Rascals, Windy, The Association, Harpist Bazaar, The 59th Street. Bridge Song, Our Blue Brothers, Bowling Green, Deanne Warwick, Who Cares, The Rose Garden, Holly's Carrie Ann, The Tokens, The Monkeys, Pleasant Valley Sunday, The Mojo Men, Sit Down, I Think I Love You. West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band, Transparent Day. Main reason I bought this, actually. Four Seasons, Come On Marianne, Booker T and the MGs, Hip Hugger, Tommy James and the Shondells getting together, The Actors Prunes, Had Too Much to Dream Last Night, and The Vanilla Fudge, You Keep Me Hanging On. And again, this was not expensive at all. This was well under 20 bucks. So, in fact, I'll show you what it was. $14.99. So, uh... Very happy to have that. And finally got this. Ed showed this quite a while ago. Ed from the King's Court. He's also a big Cheap Trick fan as well as an Elvis fan and a Kinks fan. Woke up with a monster, Cheap Trick. Finally out on vinyl. My FYE's had it for a long time, but it was really expensive. It was a lot cheaper. Not really expensive, but... A lot cheaper here, so I picked it up. I don't ever like to buy just one thing. I'm weird that way. So, Cheap Trip woke up with a monster. Not my favorite, but not as bad as people said it was. I love the cover, by the way. I could put that in the 10 unusual album titles, actually. <laughs> Which, I'm going to do that video next. I promised I would do it, and... Uh, Elvis Presley, The Sun Sessions, just came out. Debated about this just because I love the 80s one, the double and the blue, white blue cover. I just think the sound is fantastic. But, um, and again at the King's Court, did a video on this and he wrote me that the sound on this is fantastic. I have not gotten to it yet. Elvis, a boy from Tupelo. A lot of people hate the cover. I think it's perfect. I think it's exactly what a 50s Elvis Sun cover would have looked like. I think they did a fantastic job on it. Um, there's your track listing. There's 17, no, 17 songs in all, I think. Yeah. So, uh, very, very cool. Very happy. And it even does have a, um, check out Ed's video, The King's Court. He did a nice review of this. Has a nice custom inner sleeve. Very, very cool. Very happy to get that. Me, Mr. Mayo, Joe got me interested in Blondie's Pollinator. He did um, a video on um, his favorite Blondie songs. And you know what? Long time, the first single, or maybe it's the second, I don't know, from this album, is just so good. And I checked out a couple other things. I had to get it, and I had to get it on vinyl. And I found it online actually really cheap. So I'm um, very happy to get the new Blondie. Again, have not listened to it yet. The Ramones, live at German television, the Music Laden recordings. This is a concert from 76 or early, no, September 13th, 1978. The Ramones hit the stage at Music Laden. And this is the entire show. Comes with a DVD, but it is um, 
a European DVD, so you need to have an all-region DVD player to play it, which I do not. But I'm just, just looking for more Ramones. And um, it's a single record. Um, there's the label, just black vinyl. So there's a lot of tracks on each side. And I have not heard it yet, but I did listen to some of the concert online, and the quality should be decent. British import there. Pick these up. I've been wanting these for a long time. Shake Some Action, Volume 1.1, the UK. This is power pop and new wave stuff, obscure stuff. Kind of in the lines of um, pop, Rhino's DIY series. And um, I've listened to both the American and um, the UK one. This is the UK. This is 2.1, the American. And I actually like this better, which is weird because I didn't like, I like the UK DIY series Rhino put out much better than the American, but uh, in this case, I thought this one was the better of the two volumes. It, they're imports and um, just stuff right up my alley. And my record's over. I'm just going to cheat and start it again here really quickly. And um, Ron over at Hogsy Report showed this too and piqued my interest, so I had to grab it. The Brian Jones Town Massacre. Tepid Peppermint Wonderland, a retrospective volume one. I have not gotten to this yet. It is very high on my list to get to. Modern 80s, 90s, I think it's 90s mostly. Um, psych. That kind of stuff. And um, what I Googled and listened to, I really liked when I could. You know, I mean, without internet, it's really tough. But um, And this is not that expensive. And... Uh, Thought I would check it out. Brian Jones Tom Massacre. I have none of it in my collection. A couple more here really quick. The Preachers, Monin. These were um, just a mediocre band. I'm not even sure where they're from. On um, Dionysus Records. And wow, I got like <laughs> a mess on the back of this record. Um, but uh, there you go. I'm not even going to show you the mess. I don't know what I did. I spilled something on it apparently. It's still in shrink, so no big deal. There's your track listing. This is all these guys ever did. Dionysus put it out. Just okay, garage. And I gotta stick that somewhere else. And there's a little on the front of this too. I don't know what the heck happened there. Status quo, definitive hits, two record set. Um, I don't have enough status quo in my collection. Interestingly, they do an acoustic version of Pictures of Matchstick Men on here as well as um, the original version. So it starts with 1967 or around there and goes to whenever this was put out, not that long ago probably. Except no substitute. The definitive hits of the status quo. All right, and again, messed up, so I'm gonna do that. And uh, that's all I got for that. Um, I am gonna do a very quick 10 interesting album covers video, album titles video next. So Stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's doing great. Check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Bye.